I graduated from L.C. Anderson, the old L.C. Anderson Yellow Jackets, in 1960. I've lived in Austin all my life. I graduated Anderson in 1960, so that gives you an idea as to my age. You'll see Anderson High, class of 1960. Oh, proud of it, class of 1960. If I remember correctly, and I could be wrong on this, but Dr. Aikens, well, my senior year of 1960, I think that was Dr. Aikens' um, first year as a teacher there. I think he taught civics. I've met Dr. Aikens many times, but I worked with him a little bit more intimately when I think Dr. Fox was the superintendent and Dr. Aikens was heading up committees that were trying to get the citizens of Austin and the community at large to pass a bond package. So I had an opportunity to work with Dr. Aikens during that process. always had that beautiful, charming smile. Whenever you met him, he was always willing to talk to you about education. And he participated in our cl cl 50th class reunion, and we had a very good time. But like I said, he's talking to you about education, which was very important to him. He was always a nice, uh, cheerful man. He spoke to everybody. I think this was about six or seven months ago and the Austin Statesman ran an article on the early undergraduates at the University of Texas, of which I happened to be one. And so my picture was run in the newspaper and a day or so later, Dr. Akins called me to congratulate me on having my picture and a few comments in the newspaper. And that's the kind of person he was. If he knew you, if there was any little thing that you did, he'd find a way to pat you on the back and compliment you. I went to L.C. Anderson High School uh, starting back in the late 50s and graduated in 1960. I met Dr. Akins about five years ago. I had heard of him vaguely, but uh, as I began to uh, become more involved in some of the um, I would say activities in Austin again after a long period of time. Uh, I would see him quite often at a number of charity banquets or award dinners or shows or, or even entertainment uh, activities. And uh, I was impressed that he uh, was still very, very active. I've heard, continue to hear a lot about him of his uh, civil rights work, his uh, education was unquestionable. I attended uh, at, uh, Old Anderson, L.C. Anderson High School, and I graduated in 1960. I remember him well because he was always at our banquets with his walker, and I mean, he was so fast, and everybody loved Dr. Akins. I remember at my daughter's wedding, uh, the day before, I ran into him in the grocery store, and he was congratulating me. I said, well, I'm not getting married, my daughter is. <laughs> you know, and he was saying, your daughter's such a nice, because he goes to the same church as my daughter goes to. And uh, <clears throat> I thought it was very nice of him to, you know, to congratulate me. <laughs> I knew people that came from Marlin, Texas to Austin. And when they got here and found out that he was here, they uh, let us know that they knew him. He taught school in Marlin before coming to Austin. I learned a lot about Dr. Dickens as a youngster growing up and uh, my cousin has very, very high respect for him. They were really friends, great friends. Uh, in fact, Dr. Aiken's name is, nickname is also Bubba, and uh, my cousin also goes by Bubba. Uh, they grew up together, and uh, he says that growing up, he was always uh, a, a very conscientious person. Well, he was also always so open, you know, whenever, when I would go, uh, up to see him, he said, yes, your son, your grandson goes to my church. I said, yes, sir. And said, so he's attending the University of Texas. I said, yes, sir, he's doing that. And he said, well, he needs to come and see me sometimes. I think Dr. Aikens uh, made a lot of personal accomplishments. And I think he was the type of person that encouraged other people to be as good as you can be, keep your aspirations high, and go accomplish them. 
Now, when they integrated, when they quote unquote integrated the schools here, when they shut Anderson down, um, <clears throat> they made an attempt to integrate the schools. And Dr. Akins was one of the ones, I think he was the first one, uh, teacher from Anderson High School to go to a quote unquote integrated school. And I think they picked him for a reason because he was, he got along with everybody. And then later on, when he became principal of Anderson, um, sorry, at the new Anderson High School, they chose him to be the principal. And there was a reason for that too. I think because of his openness and uh, kind, such a kind person and willing to listen, I think Austin is gonna, Austin, Texas is gonna really, really miss his gentleness, his kindness, and his openness. I think Austin, Texas is gonna really miss Dr. Dr. Akins. We saw each other so much until he finally learned my name. Uh, but I think he knew my name before due to my parents. But anyway, we started, uh, he started recognizing me. And uh, so it was a, a short but a very enjoyable uh, relationship that we had. I can't think of uh, anything negative to say about Dr. Eakins. I've never heard a ill word said about him as long as I've been knowing of him. Very, very fine man. The only thing I can say about Dr. Akins, he was such a precious, precious person. And uh, we're gonna truly, truly miss him.